In this video, we're going to take a look at PNS Brake Buster versus Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Both of these are very similar products and what they do and how they can be used. The Adams will cost you $41.95 USD for the gallon, and the PNS will cost you $32.95 USD for the gallon. Both can be had from Carzilla.ca. I'll link them both in the description below so you can check that out after the video and save yourself 5% off using my discount code CARDETAILING5. But here we go. So this is the right front wheel. This is going to go and get cleaned by Adams straight out of the bottle. But as you can see, a ton of blooming on these tires. And blooming is the anti-ozonate that uh, the manufacturers put into the rubber compound to help protect against ozone. As the tire spins at high speeds, the anti-ozonate makes its way to the surface and that's what you see that browning effect. A lot of people think it's actually dirt, but it's not. It is the, indeed the anti-ozonate and these wheels haven't been cleaned in a while, so we're going to see which product can do a better job at removing that. So this is a right rear wheel now and this one will be 1-4 to four out of the IK Foamer and again that will be Adams. And the driver's front wheel, we're going to clean with the P&S straight out of the bottle. Again, tons of blooming on that tire. And the rim itself, or the wheel itself, has a decent amount of brake dust. A bit more than any of the other wheels. So we'll see how the PNS does against that. And now moving on to the driver's side rear wheel. This one will get clean with PNS 1-4 to out of the IK Foamer. So we'll see how that performs compared to the Adams 1-4 to on the opposite side. So stay tuned for that. Now before I get started here, I just want to let you know that I did attempt to use the same amount of product and the same amount of scrubbing for all four wheels because I want to keep it as fair as possible and not be biased toward either product. Always work on a cool surface and wear your gloves because we are working with chemicals here. So now I'm going to pre-rinse the wheel to remove anything loose and I'm not afraid of dilution here because I am using the product straight up so a little bit of water is not going to overly dilute this product and affect the results. But as you can see there, almost immediately, even though this video is sped up eight times, the atom starts to break down that blooming and it starts to leak off the tire. All the brushes, tools, and equipment used in this video will be linked in the description like I mentioned below. So go check that out after the video. Here's what the wheel looks like after. The tire still, you can kind of tell there it has a bit of that browning left right by the wheel. But uh, in the barrel, it's pretty clean, but none of the brake dust was bonded on, so I can't really give the Adams too much credit here, but still, it did a good job. Now let's move on to the left front wheel where we're going to use the PNS. And here it is, same exact steps as the other side and same amount of product, hopefully. Just like the Adams, you're going to notice here that PNS Brake Buster immediately also starts breaking down that blooming within seconds. Not to the degree that the Adams did, but definitely still a, an impressive amount. The one thing you want to keep in mind here is that the barrel of this particular wheel had a lot more caked on brake dust than any other wheel on this vehicle. So keep that in mind when you see the results. And just as a reminder, both of these wheel cleaners are meant for all wheels. They're super safe. They're not an acid base or anything like that. So when it comes to heavily caked on brake dust, they're going to have a harder time than, say, a Meguiar's wheel brightener type of wheel cleaner. But as you can see there, there's still a decent amount of brake dust left over. Now moving on to the driver's rear, we're going to hit it with the PNS 1 to 4. So one part solution to four parts distilled water in the IK Foam Pro 2. The IK Foamer has really nice measurements on the side of it. So I was able to tell that I used 250 milliliters or about eight and a half ounces each pass on each of these rear wheels. So that means both the Adams and the PNS applied the, both the same amount of product and they're both one to four. That is just to keep it as even as possible. 
The one thing I will say about both of these cleaners is they both, in my opinion, work better when foamed versus sprayed as a liquid. The foam tends to cling a little bit better and it just does a better job. Now, straight up product versus one to four, obviously the straight up is gonna be stronger. So you can dilute it in a stronger mix in your IK foamer or whatever foamer, and it will still perform better than using it as a straight liquid. That's what I think anyway. Let me know in the comments below. Now here is the passenger side rear wheel, which we're gonna hit with the Adams. I cleaned out the foamer to make sure that there's no cross contamination here. And again, 250 milliliters, 8.4 or five ounces of product. You'll notice that the Atoms and the PNS, they have a very different consistency when it comes to the actual foam itself. But again, the Atoms is working much quicker. It's pulling a lot more of that blooming out of that tire. Now I'm going to clean each of the front wheels again using one to four with their respective products out of the foamers and we're going to see how many rounds it takes to get completely clean foam. This time around I'm using the big boy foamer just because I still had the atoms in the IK so that was out of commission. So that was second round. Hit it for a third time. At this point, this would be good enough for me. So the PNS within three rounds, it's completely cleaned um, that rubber. But we'll hit it one more time just to see, just to make sure. So this is now four. And yeah, pretty much there's no more blooming coming out of that tire at all. Now for the Adam side, one to four out of the IK Foamer. And I noticed that the IK Foamer is actually doing a much better job foaming the products than the big boy Foamer did, that's for sure. Now for round three, at this point, it's pretty much evident that it, this is good enough. There's a little bit of rounding that would come out of there, but not a lot at all, as you can see as I'm scrubbing here. So this would be good enough. You don't need to move on. But to be fair, we're going to hit it with a fourth round just to make sure. And as I do that here, you'll see that the foam is completely white at this point. So both of them within four had completely clean wheels. And remember, this was the worst one to start with. Now here are the results after letting all wheels dry. The Adams did an amazing job. That tire is perfectly prepped for a coating. And as you can see, the wheel came out great. There's no rust on the rotors. The right rear, same exact thing. Wheel came out great, tire came out great. And I did hit both of the rear wheels a few more times just to make sure that we got all the blooming off. The left rear still has a tiny bit of blooming left. So that one underperformed a bit, but check out that rotor. There's a slight amount of surface rust on there, which is very interesting considering the Adams has less surface rust on the rotors without advertising rust inhibitors and the PNS has more and they advertise the rust inhibitors. But nevertheless, the PNS still did an amazing job on the left front wheel other than that baked on brake dust. To conclude, I think both the PNS brake buster and the Adams wheel and tire cleaner are both worth the money. They're both awesome and they do the job. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and if you've used them. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. Check out this video next where I did the review of the brake buster and my first impressions. Both of them will be linked in the description below, so check that out. I'll see you in the next one. I really appreciate you guys commenting and watching the video.